Bilateral tubal ligation, or BTL, also called getting your tubes tied, is a sterilization procedure. If you're absolutely positive that you're done having children, this is a pretty good way to go because you have this procedure and then you can't get pregnant again. The problem with this procedure is that it's permanent and not reversible. Once you have this done, if you change your mind later, you're out of luck. You're not going to be able to have children. Now, even though that's not quite technically true, it is what we recommend that you consider and that you consider this completely permanent. There's really two ways around a tubal ligation. One is something called a tubal reversal, where you have a surgery to tie, basically put the tubes back together. It's very expensive, it's a big surgery, and there's a pretty reasonable chance that it won't work. So that's one problem with that. The other thing is something called IVF. That's where they take an egg from your ovary and a sperm from your partner, put them together in a dish, and then they put the fertilized embryo back up inside your uterus, and that bypasses the tube completely. That's also very expensive. Um, it's, uh, it's really a big hassle. There's a lot of medication and blood tests involved, um, and it doesn't always work either. So if you're going to have your tubes tied, make sure that you're done having children. That's sort of the big thing about it. Now, the tube ligation is a surgical procedure. It's done in the operating room under general anesthesia, which means you're put to sleep completely for it. A teeny incision, about like that, is made in the belly button, and a camera is placed through that into your abdominal cavity, and then the tubes are either burned or clipped. There's a numerous different ways that people uh, do tube ligations. But in some way, the tube is destroyed in a way uh, that the sperm and egg can't get through it, uh, and so that you can no longer have children. The camera is then removed, and uh, there's a little stitch placed. You're allowed to awaken, and you go home a couple hours later. For most people, it's the kind of thing where you have your tubes tied on Friday, and you're back to work on Monday, unless you have a really strenuous job. Now, there are lots of different ways that people tie tubes. Again, they can be burned. There are different kinds of clips that can be applied. There's little rubber bands that can be put over the tubes. Um, some people actually cut the tubes. So there's a variety of different ways, but they all basically lead to the same thing, and that's they interrupt the tube so that the sperm and egg can't get together. Now, the tube itself doesn't make any hormone. It's really basically inactive tissue. It's just a conduit uh, for the sperm and egg to get together. And so destroying a piece of the tube really doesn't change anything about your physiology. So it won't change your hormones. It won't change how you feel. It won't change your libido. Uh, it won't cause pain. It basically, you won't even know the difference except that you don't get pregnant. Now, there's a lot of myths about tubal ligation. If you ask most women, probably including my wife, they'll tell you that their periods got worse after having their tubes tied. And there's a reason for that. It really doesn't have anything to do with the tubal ligation. It's because most people are on some sort of birth control before they get their tubes tied. One of the side effects of birth control is it tends to make periods much lighter uh, and less crampy. Once you get your tubes tied, you stop your birth control and your periods go back to the way they would have been if you weren't on birth control. And so people kind of blame the tubal, but it's really the fact that they're no longer taking birth control, and that's why they get menstrual changes. The tubal ligation won't put you in menopause, it won't give you hot flushes, it won't make you fat. It really doesn't change anything about you. And those are some other things that, um, some other myths that people talk about with tubal ligation, that it causes all those things, but it really doesn't. Uh, it uh, can leave some bruising on the tummy, um, but otherwise um, it's usually not uh, particularly painful. Uh, the big thing, again, about the tube ligation is its permanence. Uh, and so because of that, people are a little hesitant to tie tubes if you're too young. And we know that the biggest risk factor for regretting your decision is early age. So the younger you are, the more likely you are to regret the decision. That makes sense because you have longer for your life to change and to be in a different situation where all of a sudden you might want to have children again. I mean, if you're 38 and you have your tubes tied, honestly, you don't have a whole lot of time to change your mind anyway. But if you're 21 and you have your tubes tied, you've got, you know, 20 years of fertility ahead of you that, uh, that you could have changed your mind, but you won't be able to because the tubes are tied. So that's something to think about. Um, in most places, there's a cool-off period in which you sign a consent form, and then you have to wait a certain amount of time um, before you have your tubes tied. For anything... For any program that's accepting federal money, that's a 30-day cool-off. Uh, in uh, situations where it's private money, that can usually be waived down to 72 hours. But so usually someone will come in, we'll talk to the, we'll, I'll talk to the patient about tubal ligation, they'll sign paperwork, and then it'll be scheduled about a month later. So that's sort of the process for tubal ligation. It's a very good form of birth control. It has a very low failure rate, less than 1% lifetime risk. 
Um, very few things um, have a lower failure rate. About the only thing is the implant. Um, uh, so it's very, very unlikely you'll get pregnant. Um, and you, it's a one-time deal. You do it and you're done and you don't have to worry about it. Medtwice.com